Baker. And this is the Betty Jean Baker Show. On today's show, we're gonna make one of my dang favorite things to drink. It's a Bloody Mary. I'm gonna show you how to decorate it with all kinds of fun decorations. Almost like it's a, a damn charcuterie on a glass. We used to think a charcuterie was a female problem. Something to do with the cooterie. You know what I'm talking about? If you're new to my channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell down there for notifications. Y'all, one of my favorite things is this Zing Zang Bloody Mary mix. It's got everything you need in it for a good Bloody Mary with a kick. Now, if I make it myself, I like to add a lot of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And horseradish, and I might add a little extra in my drink just to make it nice and spicy, because you know mama likes it spicy. <laughs> this is real easy, y'all. You can put, this real easy. <laughs> This is real easy, y'all. You're gonna put some ice in your glass, and you're gonna fill up your glass about two-thirds of the way up with your Bloody Mary mix. Y'all ever had this? Tito's? It's so good. God almighty, it don't taste like nothing. You gotta be real careful, because you get drunk as shit dr drinking this, because you, you ain't gonna feel it, you ain't gonna taste it, and then it's gonna hit you, and you're gonna get a DUI. That's what's gonna happen. Funny thing, you know, my mama said you can tell when somebody's got a DUI because they're riding a moped, because she said a grown man don't ride a moped unless he's got a DUI. <laughs> Then we're gonna top this off about one third with some good Tito's vodka. Woo! <laughs> What'd you say? It is, I like it. <laughs> it's pale. Y'all, if you're a lightweight, you might want a little less vodka than that, but I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take a strong one because uh, it's gonna knock me right out. I'm gonna be asleep on the couch watching Law and Order reruns in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Make sure you don't drink and drive, though, but you can drive right over to that damn couch. I might watch my 600-pound life and pass out on the couch, dreaming about my future. <laughs> the next thing is we're going to make some fun skewers. <gasps> no. My friend Tillis just said, suggested that I should call my 600-pound life to see if I can get on the show, and now she's laying in the floor in pile. I'm going to put some black pepper flakes on the top of my Bloody Mary. I like to use the frilly parts. You don't even eat this right here. Uh, but you, when you get that celery in there, you don't even know what to do with this. It looks like a tree's growing in the bag and you eat all the rest. It's like a little celery tree. Look at it. Woo! Look at that. It already looks like a party in a glass. I'm gonna show you how to skewer up some bacon. Y'all ever had a Bloody Mary with bacon in it? There's a different kinds of bacon. That salty bacon is gonna be so good in there with that Bloody Mary. But sometimes you can get sugar maple coated bacon or brown sugar coated bacon stuck in there. Mighty. It's like having candy, breakfast, and a, a drink at the damn same time. It's good. Y'all look at this right here. All these pretty skewers. It's like a gay pride parade in a cup. There we go. And we're gonna, we're gonna put all that on my glass. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how to skewer up some uh, bacon. And we're just gonna weave it like we were at a vacation Bible school. We're gonna go in and out like we're at knit one, pearl two with the bacon. We're gonna slide it in and out and in and out. Did y'all go to vacation Bible school? Did y'all go to vacation Bible school? You know, I learned a lot about the Bible, but I also learned about macaroni art. I think vacation Bible school might be the last place in the world where they have taken macaroni to a high level of art. There's a church in the valley by the wild no lovely place. We're gonna weave it up in that, look at that. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. You know what that means? Y'all, if you don't like jalapeno, you want to leave this part up, but I'll eat this whole damn thing. You know, when it doesn't have the seeds on it, <laughs> there's one right there. When it doesn't have the seeds on it, it's not as hot, and I'm just going to slide it on the side of my glass like it was a lime or something. Look at that. Oh! I'm going to eat all of that, y'all. This is one of my dang favorite things ever. This is a piece of pickled okra, y'all. Pickled okra. I hadn't heard of this till a couple years ago, and one of my friends brought me some pickled okra and said that her family owns this company. And this company right here is the Tonk of Texas Pickled Okra. It's crunchy, it's delicious, it's just like, oh, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but you need to get some of these for yourself because not only are they good to eat, but they're good in a Bloody Mary. Get you some of these. So then we're gonna put this on a skewer. Let's pick out a, a pretty pinwheel, pretty pinwheel skewer. Here's our pretty pinwheel skewer and we're gonna do it on the angle so that our okra is leaning. Look how pretty she is, okra. I'm gonna call her Okra Winfrey. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little tiny, tiny okra right up under here. This is okra after she lost weight. Oh. You get okra oh, and you get okra. You don't even need to eat breakfast. You should just have this for your morning breakfast. This will be delicious. And then you'll be all tipsy and you'll sit around the house in your panties all day long just eating on some okra. Mama Oprah would be very proud of us. Look at that. Oh, 
The, people think charcuterie is some damn art, but you know what's art? <laughs> Putting all that shit in the glass and then drinking it. You can't do that with a charcuterie. If you put a charcuterie in the glass, well, you know what's missing? Liquor. Liquor. I don't even know her. I saw a Bloody Mary once where they put a whole rotisserie chicken on a stick in the glass. So I decided I was going to put some chicken nuggets. And these are bourbon covered chicken nuggets. And I'm going to put them on this firework skewer. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 yeah, that's good. That's good, y'all. Look at that. I'm going to put another one. This is so good, y'all. Uh, uh. Focus, bitch. Come on, focus. Mm, look at that. Look, got a party hat on it. It's a double nugget party hat. Make sure you don't eat that because it's not edible. That part's not edible. You can eat that chicken. You got to pull it back off the stick. Though. Also, y'all don't eat the stick. It's some dumbasses. I'll eat a stick. Stay. <laughs> While I eat a piece of this okra, I'm going to tell y'all a funny story. So a friend of mine um, decided he was going to come out of the closet to his mother yes. and didn't want to go alone, wanted to go out to have a drink. And I said, listen, it's Sunday brunch. We're going to have some Bloody Marys. And he said, okay, let's go have some Bloody Marys. So that's what we did. And we met his mama. Mm, mm. We met his mama. I'm going to go. Go a little sippy sip. I'm gonna hide behind that. Look, you can't even you can't even see me. I'm so petite, you can't even see me behind all the all the stuff. Look, mm, 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 mm. he was all nervous, and his mama looked, she looked nervous too. He came out of the closet right out the gate. He, he just said, Mama, I just want to let you know that I'm gay. And she just went, <laughs> she got all nervous, and then she started ordering more drinks and ordering more drinks, and just in a little bit, we was all drunk. After about six Bloody Marys, I looked over and the mother, she had her head down like this. And she said, Oh, I got the worst. Worst headache. I wonder if it's from drinking so cold. It's so cold. I wonder if it's from drinking something so cold. And she went to lift her head up, and she was so drunk, she put her head down like that, and the straw from her Bloody Mary, she had one of them little skinny straws, the straw from her Bloody Mary had gone up in her nose and was stuck up in there. Nobody gave a shit about her son being gay anymore. She had a damn straw up in her nose, and, and it was all over. Here we have a delicious summer drink. A Bloody Mary's my damn favorite. Get y'all one and have a party in a glass just like this. No, no, I don't even know what to eat first. Look at it. <laughs> It's a banquet. It's a. It's just like Ryan's Steakhouse right here in this glass. You can just choose whatever you want. Y'all remember Duff's Smorgasbord? Duff's Smorgasbord, uh, you know, they used to have that where it went around on a uh, on a, a, a rotating carousel and you got that food. This is just what, like, if we spin the glass around like this, we don't even know what we got to eat yet. We could, just like Duff's, we could wait until it comes right back around to eat it. <laughs> this is going to be delicious. So get you some Bloody Mary today. Mm. God somebody that's good. Oh, it's strong too, y'all. But most importantly, stay delicious, y'all.